Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Kellen here from Start Your Systems, and welcome back to MTX Moto Tracks Career Mode. I believe this is episode number eight, continuing on today with this legendary video game from 2004. And last time, if you guys were with us, you remember uh, we went through and did the 250 West and East Motocross series. So we've done all the MX series up to 250 Master now, and we've done all the, the uh, Supercross series all the way up to 250 Master now as well. So those will be their own separate videos uh, coming up soon. So what we're doing today is we're taking on the Rock Quarry Freeride area, which kind of continues on our career mode a little bit more. Um, going to kind of like go around the Rock Quarry, check out a couple things, probably learn some new tricks and do more challenges. So let's jump in and get after it. Hey, glad you came out to join us weekend warriors. All of the machinery around here makes for awesome jumps. This crane and pipe setup is perfect for a step up. The dump truck in this pond makes a good target for jumping into. And finally, what would a rock quarry be without some conveyor belts? Just be careful out there. Granite isn't as soft as dirt. Just don't crash and you'll be all right. All right, so we are at the rock quarry. Bob showed us around a little bit right there. So now I think we're just going to go down here to our first challenge. Uh, that one, there we go. Alright, man, I know you can do tricks, but let's see what kind of bike skills you got. Hey, you see these pipes here? I want to see if you can make it through all of them without crashing. So what up? You want to go for it? Oh yeah, carry hard. We're definitely going for it. Gotta get through all of these without crashing. I think there's uh, yeah, eight pipes in total. Get through the first four pretty easily. I think the second half is a little bit tougher. Coming down off of that, jump up to these, jump to that one, down and out. Right on. You can really handle that bike. That was tough. And that was really fast too. That proves you got skills. Man, I am stoked. All right, Kerry Hart is stoked, but he's still standing here, so I think there's another challenge. All right, man, I know you can do tricks, oh, nope. but let's... Already done that challenge. Okay, so we got one challenge done. Uh, let's, let's peruse around the rock quarry a little bit here. I know that there's like some stuff on the top level, uh, but I don't know if there's any challenges up here. I just know that there's like, I guess kind of ride around on the top level. Oh no, there's some guys over here. I guess we're gonna do probably a race. So we'll come to these guys and see what the go is with this. Oh, keep pressing the wrong button. Oh cool. Hey, a bunch of us are getting ready to go moto. You wanna bang bars? The race goes all over this place. It goes through there, around that, then back over. You'll figure it out. You ready? You ready? Go. <laughs> goes through there, then around and back. You'll figure it out. All right, thanks, Gary Hart, for the uh, lesson in where the track goes here today. Uh, so yeah, we are just uh, gonna figure it out. Looks like we're coming down this hill first. Just carrying a bunch of speed down this long downhill. And I think we're going over to this jump. In the corner. I think we can just miss the jump, so trying to uh, maximize our uh, speed through here, go around the equipment right there. Pretty much just following really the arrow, but you got to go through these specific gates right here. And look at all the different events that we do around this little compound as well. Uh, there's a lot of guys scattered around this little compound that we get to uh, do all kinds of different events, so it'll be exciting. I think I was meant to jump one of those conveyor belts, but we'll get back to it eventually. Now we're just heading back up the hill by the looks of it. We got a little jump right here. Nice triple jump. And I think that's yeah, another small little kind of triple jump. And then right up to the top of the hill. Cut across over to this one. But that's good in the end. Nice double jump right here. And then over the uh, tractor. Always seem to forget what the tractor names are when I'm playing, and then afterwards I go, oh, that's what that is. So I don't know why I'm forgetting the name of that right now. I apologize. Someone in the comment section will roast me for not naming that correctly. Oh, big case on the step up right there. Jump this little table. Carry some speed. Another little tabletop right there. Still carrying speed. And I think this is the finish line we're coming up to. So yeah, one full lap around the quarry. Basically just a bunch of left-hand turns. Dude, that was so fast. Ugh. Man, you tore this place up. What you got done to your bike? Let me check that thing out. All right, Kerry Hart wants to uh, steal our bike apparently because he thinks that we are cheating. So, uh, 
Calm down, Carrie. We're good. All right, let's go down to the bottom of the quarry here because there's a lot of different objectives to complete. So we'll go down here and uh, we'll go to this guy first right here. Is this Carrie again? Man, so many Carrie hard objectives. Hey, man. I got this crazy idea. Let's hit it up. See that dump truck over there? Jump in the back. Grab those keys. Then we can back up that truck and make a sick jump over the water. All right, so we're just uh, trying to jump into the dump truck from a distance. So I'm gonna get a little bit of a run so I don't miss it. It's honestly a terrible run though. We'll see if I still have enough speed. Oh yeah, easy in the end. Got the keys, jump out and turn around. I feel like I'm in like a different camera view or something like that, but I don't, I don't believe I pressed anything. So I'm not sure what's going on, but yeah, right, right. on. Dude, I thought you were gonna cartwheel, but you pulled it. Not that I want to see you get hurt, but I thought it'd be pretty funny to see you get. All right, so I got the dump truck backed up now. Is there? Hey, man, I got this crazy. Oh, no, so we already did that. Um, all right, so got someone riding around, but we'll check out this guy first. Yeah, look at this beauty. Uncharted vertical dirt, awesome. There's nothing I love more than watching the dirt fly while thrashing up a hill. Hey, I bet you can't make it up the hill. All right, Fred here has challenged us to a hill climb, and we're going to try to do it in, looks like, under a minute. Uh, so that guy is, sounds like he's a little bit stoned out of his mind, but we'll uh, maybe blow his mind by ripping up this hill, no problem. He's very stoked on how good the dirt looked on this hill, so uh, we'll just keep going this direction, I guess. I don't really remember the right way to get up this hill, but I just fell off, so we're going to probably have to restart. Ugh. Go back to the beginning real quick and see if I have enough time to make it up. Nah, that's, that's gonna. I'm gonna have to redo it. I just restart objective. Yeah, look at this beauty. Quick start. Yeah. Just made a small mistake, but we'll rectify that and continue on here. Forgot to change my uh, freestyle outfit too. I wanted to get uh, some Alpine Stars boots on for this next objective, but that's okay. Let's see if we. Uh, we just turn left right here and look straight up the hill. That's maybe a little bit better. Don't fall off though. There we go, okay. It is a little bit tricky. This game doesn't really have the like best turning physics and there we go, we just fell all the way back down to the bottom again. Oh my goodness, we have to try it all over again. Yeah. All right, let me try the first route I was taking because I thought I was on a pretty good move right there and then trying to turn up the hill didn't quite work out. I really just need to stop stopping. Like I just need to carry momentum, I think, is my real problem here. I'll slide down the hill and then turn up the hill right here. Got that. Spin it around. And then there we go. All right, easily done in the end. Nailed wow, it. you made it. Sweet. That was a rush, huh? Yeah, you could never beat my time, though. All right, I guess he's got some elite time that we can never beat, but uh, we're going to ignore that and just come back down to the bottom. So it's Pastrana that's riding around. I wonder if we could go catch him right now, although we just slid all the way across at the bottom there. Did a huge jump. It is Pastrana. He's over here. I think this is probably some sort of like freestyle trick line thing, if I can guess. He's going to go through the hoop right here, so we'll catch him when he turns around off this berm. And here we go. All right, let's get started. Time for a train run. You know the drill. Follow me, do the tricks I do, and don't crash or fall behind. All right, so Travis is follow the leader here. We did a Kenny Bartram follow the leader at Everglades, but now we're doing Pastrana's thing. Got a Saran wrap. Yeah, got that. Oh, wait, I didn't get it? What did I miss? Oh, there it is. Okay, and then I crashed anyways, so we got to restart. Hey, don't feel too bad. All right, let's get. Right, just skip that. Press the wrong button. That was what happened the first time. So this time, hopefully, it'll be a little bit easier. Right, left, A. Got it. And then got to get up this guy right here. What's the trick, Travis? What's the trick? Down, SSS. Ah, I crashed. Gosh, jumping through that hoop, I remember, hey, it was always to... really tough. All right, let's get. So this challenge is probably going to go on for a little bit longer than I want it to, but I think we'll get there. Got the saran wrap. All 
There we go. Got the lazy boy. So wait, what? I totally did it. How's that a miss? Down SSS. Oh, Travis is lazy boy. I just did the regular lazy boy. My apologies, Travis. I missed out on doing your uh, specialty trick there. All right, what do we got? Up, down, AS. Oh, I did a varial flip. Alternate foot back flip. There we go. Alternate flip back flip through the uh, hanging pipe right there. That was a bit tricky. And then Greg's varial flip, which is... Oh, I did the back flip this time instead of the flip. Ugh. All right, don't lose sight of him. He's getting a little bit farther away from me. Now we just got to do the simple varial flip. I'm always pressing the wrong buttons here, but this one's relatively simple. It's four tricks. He's getting a little far away from me. Up, up, A, W. What is that? Up, up, A, W? I don't know what... Hey, don't feel too bad. What you what just got smoked. W is even supposed to be. <laughs> well, I guess you're just some weekend... All right. <sighs> okay. I got to try to figure out what W is. Maybe gas, I guess, would be for me. Right, left, A. Oh, I did the right buttons again. Go back ahead of me. There it is. There's a saran wrap. And then what Travis's lazy boy is next, I think, right? Which is down SSS. Got it. Next up is the alternate foot backflip. That one very good. And then Greg's varial flip through here will be interesting. Nope, I did a regular backflip through there. Landed it though. Press the wrong button again. Having a lot of problems doing that. So here's Greg's varial flip. Set that relatively easy in the end. Just land off the side of the jump. And then all right, we gotta figure out this W thing. So up up a W. There it is. One-handed tsunami. I don't know what that, okay, so up, down, A, right, barrel roll. This is one that we haven't done yet. Up, down, A, right, there it is. Wow. Yeah, that was awesome. Man, you really went off. Of course, you can't match my style, but maybe someday. I don't know, Travis, your style is pretty ridiculous. So we got the barrel roll done, which was nutty. Uh, that barrel roll is Kind of sick. All right, so the PDA is going to yell at us until we go to it, so I will just go to it now and see what's going on. Yeah, we unlocked Puma FMX and a new movie, Harry Hart movie. All right, but uh, we're just going to continue on with the objectives because I want to try to complete everything in this area. And found looks like we found Travis uh, again. Yeah, that's right. Dirt riding it is. Okay, you're going to have to follow behind on this one. Don't pass me because, well, that would really ruin the fun. Yeah, that's right. Just race through the area and follow close behind. Don't fall too far behind. I don't want to feel that I've gone too far ahead. I mean, I kind of want the illusion that I might actually lose. All right, so it looks like we're just following Travis around, but I don't really know where we're going. I think he's just taking us on Mr. Toad's wild ride here a little bit. Well, we're just trying not to pass him, just staying close. Trying to figure out where exactly he's uh, going. I think he's turning right right here, yeah. Going up the hill. Little trickster right there. Thought I was going to jump off the ledge. So we're just following him up here and then looks like, I think, going through this tunnel. Now into the tunnel. Trying not to let him get too far away here. Falling right along here. Just hitting all the jumps. I don't really have any reason to hit those because I'm just trying to stay close to him. I don't really want to lose him here like that where he's going to get up this hill very cleanly. How is he still able to triple that? Oh, you're kidding me. Just gonna skip that step up right there because I don't think I'll be able to get up there fast enough. Coming down the hill, swerving through some stuff. Staying right on him. And he's gonna go back through this tunnel. And I think this is the end of it right here. So, relatively simple challenge. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you followed to perfection. That was really intense. 
absolutely perfect. So, I won. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It was all just a ploy to get you to lose, like you ever had a chance. Well, I guess that's not fair. I mean, after all, I did tell you to stick behind. But you still lost. Ha ha. <laughs> the dialogue in this game. Oh, second to none. All right, there is a guy up here on the conveyor belt, so we're going to see what his uh, deal is. Oh, and we found a secret chick spot as well. I've been watching you guys for ages. If you want to stay out of trouble for riding in here, I want you to entertain me. You're totally nuts to even try this. But hey, it's not like you have a choice. Clear each gap between the conveyors. Get them all before the time expires, and I'll forget you were ever here. Oh, and just so you know which one to jump to, they're color-coded. Alright, I do remember this challenge. Uh, this is a, a pretty nutty challenge, if I remember right. Let's try to go for the blue one first, because I'm pretty sure this is the biggest one. Let's clear that guy, no problem. Go down. Careful right there. This one's uh, a pretty simple one because it's just stepping on and stepping off right there. So got the gap cleared. This one over here, also relatively simple. It's it's kind of a big gap, but oh, go left so I don't go down. Then let's turn around and uh, get this gap right here. There we go. Finally got the clutch boost. And jump that. All right, got that. No problem. Right, let's carry a little bit more speed down here. Maybe use the embankment even to our advantage. Try to get this one. Yeah, got it. Nicely done in the end. Boy, you made that look easy. If I didn't know better, I'd try that myself. You're a grade A nut, kid. Much too much for me. All right, so we got that guy's challenge done. We just did a huge sidewinder over that hill. Uh, where are we at with the objectives, though? How many more do we got? We got uh, jump 250 feet, wheelie 600 feet, and everything else is done except for two question marks. So those are going to be, um, yeah, like unlockables that we got to go find somewhere. I know Pastrana is still down here, I believe. Right? Is he sitting over here? But is, yeah, he's not got a challenge over his head anymore, so I got to go find somebody else. Hmm. Where are the other challenges on this map? This guy already asked me to do the hill climb. Has he got something else? Yeah! Look nope. at this beauty. So we already got that done. Oh, there's a guy over here by the uh, raised pipe. I know that's one of them. So let's do his challenge. Who is this over here, by the way? Tommy Clowers? I know you can do tricks, but can you do the step up? The crane's busted. If you give me the right tools, I can fix it. You have to be quick, though. We don't want to get caught. Go get those tools and we'll get started. All right, so yeah, Tomcat Clowers, and we're going to go uh, collect all the tools around the map right here. I don't know how many there are. Let's see if it tells us after we collect one of them. Uh, one of five. There we go. All right, so I'm pretty sure the farthest one was over here in this corner. So we'll go get uh, this one right there. One right here that I just completely whiffed on. i to figure out where the other one is, though. There one in the crane. Oh, no, there's one behind the crane. So we'll come back to it and get it. I'm going to get this guy first. Oh, went over it. Two daisies. Three of five. Still got 50 seconds left, so no big deal. There's that clutch boost I've been trying to get. Jump and get that one. It's nice. And then right behind you here, Tommy. You could have just picked it up yourself, but instead you got me doing your dirty work. Right on. Give me a minute and I'll get this thing running. All right, so that was the first part of the challenge. Next up is, looks like the step up part of the challenge. And yeah, he's definitely raised the roof on this thing. Now that we got this thing working, check this out. I'm gonna move the pipe up and then you're gonna jump through it. Every time you make it through, I'm gonna raise it a little. See if you can make it through three times. Sort of like a step up competition. I bet you can't make it through three times without messing up. All right, so Tommy Clowers was like, Definitely like the step up guy, I feel like right around this time, definitely doing a lot of the step up events and like the X Games and stuff. So it's pretty cool, I think, that they like not only included him in some dialogue, but they also use like his marquee event at this specific point in time, uh, which was step up. Two of them done. I still got one more to get. I think for this one, I'm going to go up the hill just a little ways here to get a better run. Because um, I, I don't think it's actually that far in the air, but enough that we should probably get at least a semi-decent run and not just like through the berm before it. So here we go, third uphill, there we go. 
Right and on, done. man. That was good. I would have tried that, but I was just having so much fun in the crane. All right, having too much fun in the crane, so couldn't try it out. All right, where are we at with objectives now? Is this uh, pretty much all of them done except for those uh, wheelie 600 feet and jump 250 feet ones? Looks like it. All right, where can we jump 250 feet from? So there's like some big ramp down the hill or something like that. I think I will do the wheelie challenge first because I know exactly where I want to go to do it. Uh, it's going to be relatively simple to get to. So let's head up the hill here. Again, I gotta try to figure out where to do the, the jump, 250 foot jump. I'm sure it's not actually that big of a deal, but we'll uh, try to find a spot. Go around this guy right here. And then of course there's uh, all these trick spots like all throughout the compound that, oh man, the 250 foot jump right there on the left might actually be the, the move. Um, there's all these uh, tr hidden trick locations across the compound that I really just kind of have to find, uh, but I think I'm going to save pretty much all that for one video towards the end, maybe right before we do the X Games like step up or the X Games finale thing. Uh, so this is where I'm going to do the wheelie because this looks pretty simple to get 600 feet on this flat plateau because I want to have all those tricks available obviously for the final challenge for one, but also I think it'll be better to just go through and, and actually accomplish them all at once instead of uh, trying to do them one at a time. I don't know why my wheelie just went down right there. Gosh. So we're going to wheelie through these guys. Got a wheelie 600 feet. So I guess we're going to have to go down the hill. And hopefully it doesn't cancel my wheelie out if I start going down the hill here. Because we're at 400 feet. Got 200 more feet to go. And then the second we start going down the hill, we're obviously going to go faster. Really cooking down the hill. And 600 feet. Done. All right. Let's go over to that other area that I saw for the 250 foot jump. And I think that'll be... Our spot to wrap up the video today as well, once we get the 600 foot jump, turn around. Yeah, definitely figuring out that like clutch boost thing that I've been trying to figure out for a while here, but now finally got it kind of dialed in. All right, got that jump, 149 feet. And this is where I'm gonna go to try to do big jump. Let's see if it lets me land it though. Nope, not gonna land it. All right. Where? Where the heck can I go to do this? Oh, pff, duh. Maybe I should just go off the big freaking tractor thing that we backed up. I'm sure that's 250 feet. All right, so let's go up the hill a little ways here. Get a run down into it. Spin around, clutch boost down the hill. Hoping this is enough, we'll see. Coming down, coming down, and launching. On the side of this little hill. Is that it? 237. Oh, I gotta go like barely any further right there. Alright, let's go up the hill a little bit more. Maybe that's my problem. I just need a little bit more speed. So up here, maybe. Clutch boost. And carry speed through the middle down this hill. Really cooking down this hill, 78 miles an hour. I think that still maybe isn't it. What is it? 248? How did I miss that? Come on. All right, one more try. We got this. Missed it by two feet. All right, very tippy top of the hill here, I think is where we'll spin it around. Come back down the hill. If we get going faster than 78 like we were the last time. Oh, yeah. Going 80, almost hit Pastrana crossing our path. Oh, that's it. That is it. That is it. 254.8 completed it. And I think that's all the objectives on the compound. Let's take a look. Yeah. Got them all done. All right, so like I said, all that is left then on all of our free ride compounds, as I'm going to leave the area here, uh, is finding our trick spots. And what we're going to do next, uh, I'm not going to do it in this video. I'm going to do the freestyle competition in the next video. Actually, maybe in the next video, what I'll do is, because the freestyle event, I'll get through pretty quickly here. Uh, we got to do the Puma FMX, which is at the uh, Arizona Stadium. 
already did Nixon, obviously. But uh, all these other free ride compounds, I still got to figure out where the trick uh, areas on each one. So I think I'll, in the next video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and uh, do the Puma freestyle to start off, then go through each of these three free ride compounds, do the trick locations, call that a video, and then we'll go through um, and do uh, Supercross, Motocross, the final free ride, which would be Redwoods, and then the final freestyle for the last video, which would be the X Games. So that is how we're going to look out uh, for the future here. But uh, yeah, that's us done with episode eight of MTX Moto Tracks Career Mode, doing all the stuff in the rock quarry. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. As always, appreciate everybody that's been tuning in and watching these. It's been a lot of fun doing this and it seems like you guys have enjoyed it as well. Uh, so we'll bring you guys more stuff next week and we hope to see you guys back here on the channel for all that fun stuff as well. So thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys in the next one. So long for now.